So this painting was part of a commission for the Beacon Centre in North Shields. They wanted a series of large paintings to cover three long wall areas, which are high up above the shops. The size of the painting needed to be six foot by six foot on stretched canvas, which is just under 1.83 metres square. The theme of the painting was movement, and that was chosen to reflect the nature of the space, which has got thousands of visitors passing through it each day. So after working through a lot of ideas, ranging from the power and momentum that comes from martial arts like Aikido, to the graceful swirling of naked ladies moving across a canvas, even to the marmoration of birds, one of the ideas I had, and a blocked energy portal in space, I eventually created this. The inspiration came while I was travelling on the metro. I think it was between Monks, Eaton and Shiremore. I wasn't even thinking about the painting at the time, but that's usually when ideas come. Uh, I got a glimpse of the fields and my imagination just filled it with rabbits. So with that idea in my mind, I went home and started sketching out some nice, cute looking bunnies, all happily enjoying, bouncing around on the hills on a lovely sunny day. It was okay as an idea. It just seemed to lack energy or have any kind of reason why someone would want to look at it. So the more I played, the more the idea evolved until it eventually became this. A lot of people look at it and think, well, oh, that rabbit's about to get it. But is he? Is he about to change direction and dart off at an angle to avoid those looming jaws of death? Most of the people look at the painting that way. It's simply a dog chasing a rabbit. But as with the majority of my work, there is always a, a deeper meaning. So the symbolic significance between the rabbit and the dog. The dog represents the ego, the part of us that we identify as being who and what we are. Our name, our age, ethnicity, what we do for a living our relationship status, our beliefs, our thoughts, our opinions, etc. The rabbit represents our spiritual side or our spiritual essence. It's the part of us which has awakened to realise what we truly are. It knows that we're not as our ego identity believes and we're not restricted to the limitations of our ego's bubble. It knows we're far more connected to the universe, this planet, each other and everything else that exists. However, the ego part of us refuses to accept that it's merely a mental construction based on past conditioning, so it chases the awakening away. The barren landscape represents nowhere to hide. It's the same everywhere you look. There's nothing to do other than run, but looking around, there's actually no place to run to, no place of safety. Uh, in the same loop, the ego can't hide from awakening, and unless it accepts it, it's got no choice other than to chase it. Uh, and from the look of this painting, it might be successful at catching and destroying the glimmer of awakening on this occasion. But if you look around, you can see there's many more little glimmers of awakening hopping around, catching the attention of the ego so that they can wear him down and contribute to his inevitable exhaustion. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up if you like. If not, give it a thumbs down. It's absolutely fine by me. Uh, if you click the subscribe button, then I look forward to joining you again when I get some more time to record and upload another video. Until then, take care.